Hello, welcome to the Lightweight Tutorial Series. In this video, we will see some of the basic things about Lightweight. So, first is modes in Lightweight. So, by default, Booklet provides three modes: View, Edit, and Help. And after that, Lightweight added some other modes also, like About, Config, Print, Edit Data, Edit, and Preview. So, you can read in detail about these modes in my blog. This is the URL of my blog. So next thing is portlet phases or we can say JSR specification. So in JSR specification 168 or we can say 1.0 specification, we have basically two phases, render phase and action phase. So the render phase is basically used for generate some view things like HTML content. And action phase is basically used for state changing functions like if you want to submit a form or you want to update a database. Then in this case you will use action phase. Till now in JSR 168 there is no feature of interportlet communication and resource management or like edit calling. So in JSR specification 268 or portlet 2.0 we have a event phase and resource serving phase. The resource serving phase is basically used for edit calling. Like we have to download a PDF file on the click of something, then we can use resource serving phase. So it's come later in JSR specification 286. So, third thing is portlet interfaces. So, basically, there are three main interfaces. First is JavaX portlet and portlet. So, this interfaces contain the basic methods like init, render, process section, and destroy. So, if you want to write a portlet, then the portlet must implement this interface. And second interface is JavaX portlet dot event portlet, which contain a method process event. This is used for interportlet communication. And the third thing is JavaX portlet dot resource serving portlet. This interface also contains only single method for Ajax call, like service source. So now comes to portlet URLs. So basically there are three types of URL. First is render URL, like this one. So we create a render URL, provide a variable name, and you can also send a value with the this. And in anchor tag, we use this variable name and on this click the render phase of a portlet is called now action url so action url is similar to this but in this case of action url one section method is called render method also called and third is resource url as i already told you it's basically used for ajax calling you can also send parameters and all these things so there are three types of urls now next is life cycle of a portlet so basically we have init method like in servlet so it is called only when portlet is deployed so it is used for basically create connection to the database and basically initialization things so when you deploy a portlet it will call init method but when you add on a page or then remove on a page then again add on page then in this case init method is not called so init method is called only once once the portlet is deployed now process action method when you uh, click on a action url then process action method is called only one portlet can go through this phase during single response cycle after action phase if there is any event then event is called and finally render method is called now render method after each action render is called i already told you again and again if there is a call for service source method then the render method is not called and destroy is called when the portlet is undeployed so you can undeploy it by using control panel or you can directly remove from web apps so destroy method is called so like there are two portlets on a single page okay like a and b are two portlet on a page so if there is a render request call for portlet a then render method of portlet a is called and also render method of portlet b is also called in the second scenario if action request for portlet a then action and render method is called for A, but render method of portlet B is also called as they are on the same page. So if the page is refreshed, then render method of B is also called. If the request is up for A, then B is also called the render method of B. And if there is a service source called for portlet A, then no render method is called for any of the portlet. So this is a portlet structure. Okay. This is our controller. Uh, I'll show you in detail. So this is my Eclipse, and let me show you the structure. 
so this is my controller like first example extend generic portlet we will see detail about generic portlet but for now generic portlet is a portlet which implements the basic init and render and destroy method for us so in the css folder we have a main.css file you can write your css in this this is our view and this is our js all your js scripts can be right in there now this file library display.html so this file detail about the category when we let me show you So these are the categories. So my category. I this like look. This is my category. Library display dot XML shows about the category of portlet in which it is available. Library package plugin dot property. If you want to add some jars like GSTL jars, like this is TLD and Spring jars, then you can use this. You can add and TLD and use directly. Like reported dot XML. So, like I use CSS main dot CSS, then you have to provide entry of CSS in this header portlet CSS. If you write some JS, then you provide the entry of JS in there. So, for now, this is sufficient for like the portlet dot XML. And this is our portlet dot XML. Okay. So, in this, we define our portlet class, init parameters, and portlet title etc etc so these are some basic files so let me show you about life cycle of a portlet and some urls so like this is my url this is my render url when i click on this then render method is called so in this case, our do is, is our render method. So when we call on this, do view is called. So let me show you. Click for render. Well, when I click on this, look inside do view is called. Now, now when I call on action URL, then action method is called as well as render method is also called. Click on action URL. Look first inside action is called, and after that, inside do view is called this one. Now, let me show you third. So, this is our action URL, and this is our resource URL. So, in this case, only resource method is called, and not do view is called. Look. inside services okay so click on this and run not unbuild so we deployed this portlet in this case in it is called Look, the init method is called inside init method. So let me remove this from page and then again add. In this case, init is not called, init is called only when you deployed your portlet. No need is called. So now see when destroy method is called. So we need to undeploy this. Click on app manager. Let me clear the console. So this is our destroy method. Install. 
so look inside destroy is called so uh, this is an introduction to library i know it's very fast but as we write more and more tutorial on portlet then you know the clear picture of this i will provide both the portlet and my slides in description you can download it and if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching